Today, Lauren is tattooing me. Oh, mama. I'm a little nervous about the whole like dragging a needle through skin situation. Is that eye off center? That can be fixed. This is on nine years of friendship. I don't know why I have faith in you. Of tattoos and I like putting ink under my skin as much as my Asian mother does not. My name is Wesley Austin. I've been tattooing for almost a year. I used to be a full-time oil painter and I did that for a couple years and I kind of just picked up tattooing on a whim and it went really well and I stayed busy so I stuck with it. I usually do realism, black and gray realism, and I go pretty small so I like to call it micro black and gray realism. I know that I like getting tattoos and I know that guns are quite sophisticated now and essentially it's like little mini, a bunch of little mini needles stabbing ink into my skin. <laughs> That's a thumbs up from the tattoo artist. <laughs> I am an LA-based tattoo artist. I tattoo mainly between here, New York, and Nashville, but I'm in LA most of the time. In terms of transferable skills, I feel like I am decent at art. You have to stay really clean, you have to be good with people, you have to be able to visualize and imagine a lot. I have a decently steady hand, and I feel like in terms of it being an actual stencil and following that, I might be okay. I think that it's a skill that if you're willing to put in the time and effort and have the work ethic that anybody can really pick it up, but it does help if you have some artistic background for sure. Today, Wes is going to tattoo a little rose, a realism rose on which I'm really excited about. When Jeremy proposed, there were 1,200 roses, and I'm actually stupid and forgot to bring a single rose home. And so now, I can have one forever. So I have my best friend Mia, Mia Sayoko, coming today. Uh, she has offered herself up as skin. Hi, I'm Mia Sayoko, and today, Lauren is tattooing me and she's not a tattoo artist. Literally, she was like, anywhere you want. She's like, you want to put a dick on me or you want to put a Hello Kitty on me? I'm down. I think she will be good. <laughs> so what I want you to do is just take the apple pen and go over the outline of the design just to see how steady your hand is and get a little warmed up. Okay, I feel the clam. She's already sweating. <laughs> <laughs> the clam is so real. It's looking pretty good. Damn. Let's go! <laughs> I'm feeling more and more confident the more she does, to be honest. Guys, you guys need to stop hyping me up right now. Take my damn job. <laughs> I haven't really messed up anybody too bad where they've gotten really pissed off. My first couple of tattoos were a little shaky and I'm not the most proud of them, but luckily they were my close friends, so they didn't complain too much. Ooh. Tattoo heels. You can go like this, double finger tap. I'm gonna just undo a line like that too. <laughs> yeah. like, just double tap. Just, <laughs> just giving it some character. <laughs> Let's go! Give me the melon! <laughs> <laughs> this is fake skin. Kind of feels like baloney. Let's treat the melon like it's a real like person. Like it's a real, okay, yeah. Give him a little pat. <laughs> Do you want to shave it? <laughs> <laughs> Give him a nice clean. <laughs> so weird. Is that okay? Is that feeling okay? <laughs> you, you okay? <laughs> it's a customer service industry as well as it is art, so you got to make sure your people relations skills are pretty good. This feels... So violating. I know, it's really <laughs> it's weird, to be honest. <laughs> Place your stencil nice and slow. There you go. Now let's take it off and see what we got. Nice. Not bad. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Good. My buddies are all covered in tattoos. I got my first tattoo when I was 17, and they knew I could draw pretty well, so they kept kind of pressuring me to get into it until I finally gave in and gave it a try. And begin. Okay, wait, but how the hell? <laughs> Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. There you go. Now let's wipe it away and see what it looks like. Looks great. Wait, that looks so good. The false confidence that I have right now, I am juiced up on confidence. <laughs> you wanna do the eyes and the nose real quick? Yeah. The guys on the nose, okay. Let's start in the middle. Oh, mama. Gabe <laughs> just really got her right there. It was a little too aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest part, I would say, definitely the depth that they press into the skin. That's the number one thing you have to be careful of. 
because if you go too light, the tattoo will fall out. And if you go too deep, it will blow out, which means it gets into like the fatty deposit and it will spread. I really thought this was gonna go significantly worse. And so did I, honestly. We can wipe it away and see what we have left. Oh my God. It's not bad. Uh, honestly? Honestly, it's not that bad. We got a weird eye situation <laughs> and a bit of a creative bow, but other than For that. first try. Not bad. Great job. I think you're ready. <laughs> the melon's great, but I'm not a melon. But you're closer to a melon than you are plastic. Yeah, let's go. You wanna do it? Sure. Oh my God. You're such a good friend. <laughs> oh my. You're such a good friend. I am feeling oddly hopeful. I feel like Lauren is talented in the arts. She has a steady hand. I feel like it's gonna be decent. <laughs> I don't know why I have faith in you. That's so nice. That's really nice. That's so nice. I don't think a single hair came off. It's like mostly for like dead skin and stuff too. Oh, wow. We gonna sell it on OnlyFans. Put it in a little plastic baggie. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about the whole like dragging a needle through skin situation. I think that's gonna change things. It's not quite the same, but I think that the transferable skills could be there to be okay. You like it? Yeah. Uh, let's do it. We're gonna try our best and see how she does. Are you ready? Yeah. Woo! Now we're gonna do three points of pressure for the stretch. Yep. <laughs> really? Good. Ready, bitch? This is on nine years of friendship. Right, let's just see how that looks. Not bad. That's not bad. We'll take that. How did it feel? Yeah. It felt normal. It felt normal? Okay. okay. Nice. Nice. Look at that sucker. Come That's on. That's a good line. Looks bitch. great. Nice. I would do that little eye before we lose the face. You want to use you, we, we think we did the eye? Yeah. Oh. Too big? No, it's not too big, but oh. we just, I'll leave it like that for now. Wait, that actually looks pretty good. Yeah. I honestly don't know if even practicing more on the melon would make it easier to get better. Like skin just feels so far different from the practice skin, but also different from the melon. The melon was just like so much harder, where like Mia's real body was just like so much squishier in like, just like a human way, not like a, you know. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Ah! That was good. Nice, you're a pro. Ooh. Nice. My hand got a little shaky. It did get a little shaky, but that's okay. Oh, actually, it's not too bad, though. It's not bad. It's not bad. The most difficult part is honestly just like keeping a stable hand and not being shaky and getting over the thought of pressing needles into skin. I'm not like a squeamish person in terms of needles and skin at all, but it's more just that like you want an even line. So I'm not like, oh no, am I hurting Mia? I'm like, oh, is this line gonna be good? Love you. <laughs> We just looked at each other. I'm not not sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> Should I fall? <laughs> okay. That can be fixed. <laughs> So we've gone over everything once, spray the paper towel down and wipe away the stencil and any ink residue and we'll see what we have left. It doesn't look bad. I mean, <laughs> you see how it's like kind of jumpy? Yeah, yeah. That's some just like not getting consistent pressure and like moving too fast, but that's okay. Listen, like even from right here, that's Hello Kitty. <laughs> yeah, there's no mistake in it. For sure. Stay right there. Yeah, stay right there. <laughs> there's parts of it that look really clean and I'm honestly pretty impressed. And there's some iffy parts, but we can always fix it. Mia, do you like it like this? That's so flexible. <laughs> what the hell? I see, I kind of like it. This is like the experience, you know? <laughs> yeah, I feel like we should leave it's it. like an experience tattoo. Oh my God, wait, is that eye off center? She's got a, a little lazy eye. <laughs> I want God away from us a little bit. That's one where I was like, we can fix that. <laughs> The best part of the tattoo is the worst part of the tattoo. 
<laughs> because I feel like it gives a character. It's the wonky eye. I think it's so cute. <laughs> the whiskers are good because you press a little bit harder. Yeah, the whiskers are better because Here you were like, like nervous because you were like you were like coming in and out of the that's skin. That's because you were like. <sighs> <laughs> I think it went pretty good, honestly. I really had no expectation going into it and she <laughs> surprised me a little bit. I think it's perfect. Let's leave it. Good job. I'm sweating. Ah! I feel not bad, honestly. <laughs> like for the memes, for the friendship bonds that we have created here today, I feel okay about it, to be honest. Definitely put some ink in the skin. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> You can find me on my Instagram at W-Y-L-D-W-E-S-S, -S, Wild West. And I'm located in Los Angeles at Night School Tattoo Studio. I think this is the best tattoo I have. <laughs>